What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we made our way through many of these um, rhythm-based disappearing blocks of variety of colors. And in this episode, who knows what's going to happen? Because every single episode, I think it's going to be the end of the chapter, and it's not. Which, by the way, is not a bad thing. I understand that I'm playing this game outside of its original context, right? Um, originally, this was released as DLC after not being having any new content in the game and most players having already completed what was available uh, for many months. And so it's reasonable that this chapter is much longer than it is. Granted, um, from my perspective, it seems like it's way, way long. Not too long, though. I don't. I will clarify, I don't think it's overstated its welcome. Uh, these are very expertly crafted levels um, that really are still teaching new techniques even this late in the game and challenging the player in unique ways and um, yeah, I, I definitely am enjoying it. But anyways, let's let's focus on the level in front of us. We have this pink block. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm gonna have to like cling somewhere and then you know jump somewhere, but but no, nope, all of these blocks at the beginning have spikes on all of them. So I think the point is going to be I'm gonna have to wave dash off of the beginning block and then make my way to the point of getting that dash crystal and then after I get the dash crystal dash to that stone block we can barely see in the lower right corner so how in the world am I gonna time this hmm so what I'm thinking right now is that I'm gonna have to wave dash like right before the pink block appears. So that I'm in the pink block when it's supposed to appear. And then I go and I dash up right over the second pink block. So I'm in the blue block as it's about to appear and then fall into the dash crystal. And then just before I hit the spikes, dash up right. And that'll give me the most time before the blue blocks um, so the blue blocks finally disappear and then I can land on that stone. Alright, let's uh let's get in sync with the rhythm. Nice. Oh, I just gotta be fast. I'm down for that. It seems like it's appearing a little bit earlier than the beat would lend you to think. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's a bird! It's a bird! <laughs> Are we at the end? <laughs> to think. <laughs> it must have driven you guys crazy if this is the end <laughs> that I ended the last episode where I did. That's absolutely hilarious. If you didn't think I was playing this game blind, that has to be the evidence. <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess, I mean, it would have been a lot more apparent if I knew what I was doing. Um, so we're gonna have to wave dash here right before the blue block opens up and then dash through to the bird. That's all I can think of. Oh my goodness, we have we have hung on to the bird. We've tumbled. So has the bird. Got you. Finally. Now where's Granny? Oh no. Are you okay? Uh oh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. In our own quest to obtain the bird, we, we've heard it. Have we scared it away? Wait, please don't leave. 
At least tell me. You're part of Granny, right? If you have to go, then... Take me with you. Whoa. That's... that's deep and dark. Madeline, stop! You can't go with her. Shut up! You couldn't force me to give up on the mountain. And you can't force me to give up on Granny. Go away! I'm not forcing you. I'm asking you. Whoa. I miss Granny too. She meant a lot to both of us. Then why is it so easy for you to leave her behind? It's not easy. Maybe I pushed us to get over it too quickly. But this isn't healthy either. I just want us to survive this. Wow. Talk about Badalyn being the, the real reasonable one here. Um, even going so far as to apologize for maybe pushing it a little bit too early. But yeah, I mean, the ability to cope, the ability to let go, and doing so in a healthy manner is important. And and that process looks very different for different people. Um, and so, it you know, it may seem like one person's way is right, one person's is wrong. I mean, I guess for what it's worth, there are certainly some wrong ways to cope with things. Um... <laughs> or less healthy ways to cope with things. But while acknowledging personal differences, it, it, you know, it's okay that people do things differently, but it's okay to want people to do things, you know, healthily. I know she's gone. And this is just a dream. Catching this bird won't bring her back. I'm so sorry, Madeline. Let's wake up, and we'll face this together. No, not yet. I want to set things right first. What do you mean? Also, wow, look at the color come back. The bird, it's trapped here because of me. We need to help it escape before we leave. Granny wouldn't want it to be stuck like this. You're right. Let's do it. But as soon as we're done, we need to wake up. This place is so weird. I want to go home. Wow. All right, so... Looks like we're, we're breaking the electricity. So we can help the bird escape. And then we're waking up from what we now have confirmed as a dream. And wow, this whole, it, it's so meta, right? For this whole last chapter to be about coping, about letting go um, at the end of a game, right? That is, it's basically telling you that it's okay to let go of the struggle, let go of the game, let go of all the completion, etc. cetera. Um, wow. Especially for something you treasure so dearly. Now, I don't know where the, the bird went. Oops. We had a little bit of a music change there. I also, I, I apologize. I know that what I was saying there about coping and everything was not super <laughs> coherent, but basically there are healthy ways to cope and there are not healthy ways to cope. Amongst the healthy ways to cope, there are different ways that people cope um, just as a matter of who they are and what works best for them. Sometimes that's immediately confronting things. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, distracting themselves for a bit. But eventually they do get to this point that Madeline and Madeline have agreed upon, which is facing the, the reality and confronting it. Sometimes that needs to take place over a long period of time in bits and pieces. Um, sometimes it's all at once, and uh, that can, you know, that can work very differently for different people. But it's important, of course, that you don't sacrifice yourself in the process. All right, enough of that aside. Let's, um, let's do this. Okay, we're, we're floating on a jellyfish, we're floating. Oh, I see. Oh, I was not ready for that to happen. That's actually really funny. All right, bird. All right, granny, we are, we are holding on for you. Whoa, that was really neat. Okay, this is so cool. This is so cool. I love the visuals they're using here. They're so neat. I love the zoom, I love the effects. Man, this game is, this game is outstanding.
Okay. Everything is crumbling as we're trying to free this bird. Okay. Oh no. I tried to throw it. I tried, but I did not succeed. Failure. Okay. Darn, that is... That actually looks like pretty tight timing. And over. Oh, I should have... I should have dashed up as I caught it. But that's the general idea there. Oh. <laughs> A little bit too high up there. Okay, and throw. Oh, I didn't make it. Ah, oh, yet again. It's always nice when we see Madeline and Madeline work together. Unsurprisingly, the, the results are always quite a bit better. We're able to accomplish quite a bit more. No, I did it again! <laughs> I was thinking I might be able to try to maneuver one of those in the air regrams. I'm sure if I wasn't as rusty with the jellyfish, I might have been able to. But nope. Okay. Over. Oh man. So that obviously did not <laughs> work out. Oh, I'm too low here. Neither of us made it through that one. I'm too low again. Might as well just respawn more quickly <laughs> by dashing off the screen there. Really? Dang. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot more there either. Oh, what? <laughs> and so our, our quick progress is coming to a halt. That said, I don't think this will be quite as much of an obstacle as some of the other aspects of the run had been. Oh man, that was that was tight. Whoa. Why did I get so much, so much height there? Part of what makes this section, this section tough is that I don't always know exactly how much height I'm going to get off the jellyfish, and if I'm not going to get a lot, well, if I delay to like try to react to how much I get, I'm uh, not going to make it through. So you kind of like have to assume you're going to get the right amount and then just hold right. Okay, let's go over. Oh man, that is... That is tough. Is there a way to regain my dash there? That's a little bit more effective maybe. Eh, it doesn't look like it. See, that's one that might have been okay had I not hesitated. That's okay. We'll take our time. If anything, this means I won't be upset that I didn't include this at the end of the last episode. <laughs> because the, the time I'm spending on this episode is warranted. Oh, really? I thought I got that over the barrier there, but I did not. What? What? No! I must have missed. Um, I also realize now that there's a second spring that I really should be utilizing. So we're going to focus on that next time.
over, and then bounce. Whoa, what do I? Oh, <laughs> I'm silly. I should not still have the jellyfish at that point. Yeah, that's exactly the truth. That is the truth of the situation. I should not have the jellyfish at that point. Oh, really? I didn't have enough height to get over those spikes. Okay, over. Ah, oh, I let go, but I... I guess I drifted further to the left than I had expected. Over? Nope. I should have known Celeste would not have gone easy for the ending. Here I am thinking, oh yeah, we're pretty much at the end. They're not, everything's going to wrap up and we're just kind of getting out here cruising, reflecting on our experience. Nope. It's really difficult again. Oh, and I, I messed it up. I messed it up. So yeah, we have to get that there and then float on over. That's okay. We'll see what we can do here. And of course, if I don't get enough height on this first jump here, it makes getting over that second spike hump even more difficult. Like, this will be a pretty close one, I think. Yep. Okay. There we go. Float, 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 float. What? Oh, that could have been really bad. <laughs> that could have been bad. But here we are. Oh my goodness, it's those things. It's those things again. Oh, I realized what I needed to do. But I did not react in the moment. Huh? I thought I hit that from the side. I guess not well enough, or accurately enough for that matter. Ooh, these are moving around. That's pretty cool. Big fan, big fan. Oh, wait, what? Huh. How am I supposed to dash into that twice without landing on top of it? Looks like that'll be the next thing to, uh, to work out. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's why they give you the double dash crystal at the end. Wait, no! Don't... Ah, uh, I messed it up again! <laughs> I messed it up again! It was just so comfortable landing on it there. I was like conditioned to expect that I would be flung up there by like like the purple battle in medallions, right? But um that's not quite what happened. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Okay. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, almost. I actually, um... I don't need to save the jellyfish, so I don't really need to do that. Okay. That was pretty cool tech. What? Oh. Oh, analog stick mode activate. Nice. What do we have going on here? This is this is so cool. Oh my. Hmm. Let's see here. 
Oh, I thought I'd land on top of the block. Alas, he did not. <laughs> do I try to go through that small gap there? I think I do. Mm, maybe not. Okay, up. Ooh, that is... Well, that's definitely not um, survivable. So we gotta time that pretty well. Okay. We made it over. I feel like I didn't use a section in the middle of that room there. I definitely... Oh. I bet there was a secret there. Oh man, do I want to try to do it again though? I, I don't... I'm going crazy guys, I really am. But I, I want to explore that middle segment. It looked like there was a, a section with some dash crystals and everything that I just straight up didn't use. And while I think, I mean, obviously in the past, there have been some times where I've uh, not gone through rooms the intended routes, I don't think that falls under that area. So yeah, look up there, right? You guys see those, those crystals up there? There's a double dash and a regular dash. But just prior to this, I mean, there's no way I could have gotten up there. Right? Right? It's so strange. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but... I don't even know how I would get up there. Would I have to, like, dash off of the, the bird? Or something like that? I don't know. I think I'll, that's what I'll try. Mm. No... I don't know if that. I highly doubt it's just there as like a red herring, though. That doesn't seem very Celeste-like. So, I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe you guys will be able to tell me. Maybe it's best to just keep going. Because the thing is, what do I even do afterwards, right? Once I get those. If I were to even, you know get those dash crystals, where do I go with them? Right? It looks like it would have to be off the screen on the top there, but I'm not even really seeing much of an opportunity there. Again. You know, I'm not... I'm not seeing it. But what are they doing there? Is it... Do I have to go back or something after? Do I have to go back? Can I, like, wave dash back? No? Because there's no doubt it would have to be something that's after the, the electricity is gone, right? I tried to wave dash off of that. It's so weird trying to wave dash to the left. <laughs> when all of the platforming in this game is done to the right. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying this a little bit. I'm too curious. get up there. 
I feel like I should be able to do that, right? I should be able to jump up there and dash and get that double crystal, and then dash to the right and get the second crystal. It's like that, almost. But that seems really, really tight timing. <laughs> like, really tight timing. Because I don't even see myself getting up there. Like, getting enough height to go up there. Hmm. Maybe I wave dash off of that stone there. I want to try that. Ooh. I kind of want to... I want to see if I can go up there. Oh, I missed missed my wave dash, but I feel like I need two dashes to actually make it up there. This could also just be completely nothing. <laughs> this could easily be just absolutely nothing. And you guys are sitting there like, alright, fast forward to when he actually, you know, gets back to the real game again. But I can't help but shake the feeling that there's something up there. Maybe this is just the human drive to see meaning in things where there isn't. <laughs> I'm gonna try a few more times, and then I'll just proceed with the rest of the level. For what it's worth, the rest of the level seems like as soon as I actually want to get through it, it won't be too crazy difficult to do so. made it over there, but I didn't jump up high enough to actually get that double crystal. And that timing definitely looks like it would be difficult, but I think, yeah, I have to, I would have to get the double crystal, and then, hmm, I'd have to get the double crystal, then dash up left. Yeah, to get the to replenish my my second dash again, so I can dash up left and then up. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I'm just gonna move on. If there's something there, please let me know. Um, just because I'm curious, and I'm that kind of game player, I guess. Is it time-based? Like Super Meat Boy? Where I have to just like get there quickly enough and then there's something there that I'll otherwise miss? I don't know. Oh, I... <laughs> Why did I think that was the background? <laughs> Why did I think that that was the background? Alright, yeah, we're just gonna continue on with the level there. Um, but I'm very curious about that segment in particular. I would very much like to know if there is, um, if there's a secret there, because I feel like there is. Whoa, what was that thud? Hmm. Oh. I see. No! You're supposed to blow me up, dude. Oh, what? Why are those springs there? Whoa, that's what that cracking sound was. That whole platform cracks as soon as you step on it. It's not exactly uh, confidence inspiring. Okay, analog stick mode, go! Oh my. I see. I see what the intent of this segment is. That's actually really funny. Get blown into the next room. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are steadily making progress. Ah, I see. <laughs> I see. Battlin, please don't launch me into spikes next time. That'd be very much uh, appreciated.
Oh, I didn't even see Madeline waiting for us down there. I tried to dash down and out of the uh, the bird there, but to no luck. Darn. <laughs> Ill, Ill spaced jump there, or ill spaced dash. I keep thinking after that jump that I'm like close enough. I'm not, I should just dash into it every single time to be safe. Oh my! Ah, <sighs> I didn't realize that I was gonna need to use both my dashes there. I could have. I got there. Sorry. This, this segment doesn't seem too crazy difficult. Not to mention, this is one of the mechanics I like the most out of this game. Okay. So I have to dash off of the bird there. Wow, we really flew up there. Okay. Well, I guess this kind of works. I don't think this is the uh, this is the intended way to go about it, but that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get some uh, horizontal momentum there. We can do a nice re-grab there, I think. What's interesting is... I think, yeah, I just need to hold it and I'll be okay. No! Yeah, so while I'm attached to the bird, while I'm holding onto the bird, I just need to do that and... Boing. Okay. Let's see here. How do I want to do this? I did not need to do it like that. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's see here. Do I need to re grab this? I think so. No, I needed those dashes. I didn't want to go over them, but that is okay. We will persevere. Next one. No, next one. Ooh, and we got the double dashes. Come on. Nice. Onward we go. We are cruising. And the level's still going. <laughs> Unbelievable, guys. The length of this level. Unbelievable. Wow, that goes really far. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna need to do some little wall bounce, wall bounce, wow, what is it? wall bounce <laughs> shenanigans here. I don't know exactly what though. I also think I'm gonna need to, um, I'm gonna need to jump on this guy and then dash to push him over there. Now let's see here. Yeah. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Do I dash and then try to get to the right side of him? I think so. I think that's what I do. Oh man. I was not I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was not ready there. All right, we're going to pause real quick. So as soon as I dash, then what? I can't grab onto that. But it's going to block me if I wait too late. So then what? I can grab on the left side of it from here. Nice. 
So then what I gotta do is um, I, I get the double dash, I dash up, grab the left side of that platform, then jump onto the right side of it, let it take me to the right, and then, you know, progress from there. Okay, okay, I see, I see you level design, I see... You gotta, you gotta grab the wall there. <laughs> no! I'm getting lazy. Alright, focus. Focus. I can do this. I need to give each attempt my full effort. Oh man. Okay. I did get a brief glimpse though of what comes after. And so I, I might have been a little bit distracted, but I feel like we gained some valuable intel. Okay. Right. We're gonna pause real quick. So I'm already probably too late. I don't know if I'll be able to jump over in time. But what's gonna happen is, ideally I jump onto the right side of this block, and then it takes me to the right. That other one does too. So what I think I do after that is I dash straight to the right, so I'm landing on the left side of the block. I think that's what I do. Oh man. I didn't quite make it, but... That's okay, because like I said, we got some valuable intel. Okay. Oh no, I thought I jumped, I thought I jumped. It's alright. It seems a lot more doable than, uh, I guess, than you'd think. Oh my! <laughs> so I missed the platform there, but clearly I'm not supposed to dash there and just do that with some hops, which is actually really cool. Okay. And up. Pause. All right. So again, this is, <laughs> the ability to plan here is inc incredibly crucial. So we're gonna try to land on this, and then we can actually stop and think for a moment. So let's <sighs> completely lose track of how much momentum we have and fall to our deaths. Yes, I knew, I knew that was what you were thinking. <laughs> Clearly that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna, we can take a second once we're there. We just need to fall, oh, why did I? Oh, but that comes back. That's helpful. Um, we can rest for a second when we're actually on that platform. So let's just let's just focus on that for now. Okay. And over. Oh man. I'm just barely overshooting that platform. It's also pretty cool to see how much crazier the environment is getting. Nope. Canceled out my momentum too much there. I knew I should have just waited that one out. I was too delayed. I was too delayed in reacting to the fact that oh, I made it. I need to do this thing that I've been doing over and over, <laughs> but uh, suddenly forgot how to do. That's okay. It's getting late, but I did want to to continue with the rhythm I was in, the full synchro I state I had with Celeste after the last episode. And so here we are. Oh man, I was close! I, th I think I actually grabbed onto the platform there. And I had it. Come on. Okay. Let's land on this platform. We landed, we landed. All right, we're gonna take a second to chill. <laughs> so let's think about this. So we jump and we dash through here. What happens? This 
platform immediately in front of us is gonna drop and we're not gonna be able to land onto it. However, the one on the right with the spikes is gonna go up. We're gonna be able to wall cling on the left side of that. And then as things start to go back, we wall jump off of that onto the one on the left. The platform immediately in front of us, that is. And then as it's moving up, we utilize that momentum to jump up and then get our double dash and dash to the right twice, presumably. Let's give it a go. Ooh, I, I, I got it. No, and I missed the double dash. <laughs> I missed the double dash, guys. <laughs> I missed the double dash token. Really? Really, that's that's my demise there. I missed the double dash. Feels pathetic to have met my end there, but that's okay. Come back from it, we will. Okay, let's think real quick, because we're at the end of this room. I get the battle in token, it sends me up. Then what? Then what, right? <laughs> <laughs> because then I need to dash up to the right. The only thing I can think of is I dash up right, regain my dash, dash onto the left side of the box, grab the left side of the box, then jump up and regain my dash when the crystal comes back and do the same thing again. That's all I can think of, so that's what we'll try. Oh, wait, no, the battle and tokens here. Nice. Oof. I thought my platform that I needed was going away there. Okay, we've made our way to another room. So we got a wave dash here. Oh my. And these platforms are... They're a-moving. <laughs> and I think I need to buy a little bit more time after this first one, before the second one shows up, so that they're spaced a little bit more conveniently. This, this is going to be tough. There we go. What? Aw, oh, man. Okay. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Should have waited a little bit longer. Oh, what? Wait, no, what? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Battle, and you can't be zooming away on me. You can't be doing that to me. What a bait and switch. Oh, man. I got bodied there. We'll, we'll pause and we'll take a second to think. I've already screwed this up. I've got a repeat on that that top one. Okay. Look, look at her go. But now she's there. So I need to let go of the bird and then battle and stays? Is that the lesson there? Wow, or is that just like super meta? Oh man. We're gonna think real quick. <laughs> oh man, oh man, we were so close. I didn't see the double dash crystal in the bottom right corner until too late. Sorry, I don't think that part's actually too excessively difficult, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Yeah, do you realize how meta it is that it's like, oh, Badalyn runs away unless you learn to let go of the bird. Okay. Oh wait, what? That's not Badalyn? That's just some microbe in the background. <laughs> Come on. What am I... I'm going insane, guys. I need some sleep myself. 
Me and Madeline both. I'm sorry, birdie. <laughs> I got ahead of myself, but that's basically what I need to do. I just need to hit it once from the left side based on the spring beforehand. So that is what we will do. What? I missed the spring? Man, talk about a stupid way to die. <laughs> it's like those deaths where I fall because I didn't like cling on to a ledge I thought I did. It's like how embarrassing. What? What? Why is that? Why is that platform now what's giving me difficulty? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Utterly ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Man, we almost, we almost there? Oh, I needed a wave dash off of that. This is gonna be pretty cool. Time to test your wave dashes. Oh, I almost made it up there, I should've clung. And I did not wave dash there. But yeah, this is all about wave dashing here. Oh man, why did I... I didn't wave dash. That. Now that was a wave dash, am I right, guys? What's that second one? This one. That, for some reason, I think I'm going too early. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm like, yeah, if I'm not getting any momentum, I'm probably going too early. What is up there? What is up with that? Oh man, I felt like we were we were really close there. We were we were kind of killing it. I messed that up again. I'm afraid I'm uh, gonna not use the double dash crystal there effectively. Or how I'm supposed to, rather. Or how I need to, to get through the level. I did another one of those bad, bad ones there, where I just like, slide on the ground while crouched. Oh, that was, that was not good. Did I salvage it? No, I did not. <laughs> I gotta just be ready to wave dash there. If I see a platform, I gotta think I'm wave dashing off of it. Okay, okay. I didn't wave dash properly there, but you know what? Oh, that was also not a proper wave dash, but we, we've made it and oh my goodness. Do you guys see the void in the background? I didn't even realize. Look how big the void is in the background. It's like a massive black hole. That's crazy. And now, can we just talk about how epic Madeline looks when she faces the right? Look at that. Her hair, like, blowing ahead of her. That's, that's a very epic look. All right, we're going to have to go analog for this. Here we go. <clears throat> I was not ready for that, but that's okay. Oh my. Can we talk about how epic this music is? This is so cool. This is so cool. That was such a fun segment. <laughs> Give me more of that. Give me more of that. Now what do I do here? Oh, there's a bird.
interesting. Hmm. Oh, unfortunately the bird does not come back, nor can I respawn it without dying. No! Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because I need to try... Yeah, I need to try to, um... Huh. I think that second pufferfish is truly an obstacle and not something I need to, um... Utilize to my advantage. Or is it? I think I need to blow up off the bottom one into the top right one. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually... I do need to use it. Ah, uh, no. That was... Not good. We have to, like, weave outside of its range. <laughs> the sound effect they make is so funny. Ooh, and I need to be ready to jump off of that. Almost. The music just keeps getting more and more epic, too. This is... This is insane. I also have no idea if I'm even close to the end at this point. Because, I mean, now it's like the level never ends. Okay, so this thing is about to propel me way far to the right. So I need to crouch ASAP. Okay. Now what? Now what? <laughs> now what? Now I jump to the right and hope I get my double dash. How do I plan that last bit? Makes me a little bit upset that I didn't get it that first try because I gotta go through this part again. Oh man, getting that that jump right there is actually really quite precise. Because the idea is you have to dash, and you obviously have to have some momentum from your dash while you're gliding over it so that you have the momentum to jump over this electric part while maintaining a dash. And that was not effective. Okay. Continue trying we will. And... Okay, okay. Oh no! Every time I do that, I mess up my in-air momentum. I mess up my momentum in the air, and then I obviously can't do a whole lot. Okay, we're gonna land on this first. Nice! Excellent job landing on it, Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna say, we'll land on it, and then we'll pause and gather our thoughts. Okay. Crouch. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to get this. And I just need to make it over there. Is that really just a tight jump? Is that all there is to it? Oh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I'm going about it all wrong. Okay, okay. It's all coming together. <laughs> I hate every time I dash above that stupid puffer fish. <laughs> no! Come on. What? No! Oh, I wasn't ready for what happens after! <laughs> no! <laughs> Darn. But for those of you that didn't see, um, that's definitely the solution there. There we go. Onward we go! <laughs> 
into what seems like a never-ending craziness <laughs> of a level. My goodness. Aw, uh, what? Oh wait, no, that's actually, it's never supposed to make it across there anyways. How does this level never end? This chapter never ends, guys. I feel like I've made so much progress. Hmm. Nope, not quite fast enough. How am I gonna do that? way too slow. But the idea is I definitely have to wave dash, wave dash, wave dash onto the platform and then duck. That's what I gotta do. Oh, almost. It's tough to keep up with that thing. Nice. Okay. Broke that again. And we have yet another <laughs> checkpoint. This is it. We're almost out of here. Let's do this. For Granny, it's been an hour. Do I keep going? I don't know, I've been baited. I've been baited so many times in this game. <laughs> Not this game, this chapter. Are we really close to the end? Are we like a couple rooms away or like another hour away, right? Uh, let's do this for Granny. Because look at this, it's a checkpoint. It's a checkpoint. Oh man. Okay. This looks like a last room to me. This definitely looks like a last room to me. Holy cow, does this room end! Look at this! It's still going! And going! And going! What? What? How is this entire thing a room? This is mad. What? Let's just, let's just take one second to try to analyze briefly what we're going to have to do. We're probably going to have to wave dash. No, we're going to have to jump up and grab this jellyfish, fall on the right side of the pufferfish, blow up over here. Maybe... Can I just, out of curiosity, can I wave dash up there? No, I can Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to dash up here, grab the jellyfish, blow up to the right, maybe jump off of this? Like, bounce off of this? Go over here, bounce off of it, maybe? Or glide over, let go of the jellyfish, blow up to the right, dash up to get the jellyfish again. Grab onto it, navigate this area, fall onto here, spring up to the right, throw the jellyfish, then, and then spring up, uh, or dash to the right to get the battle in token. Jellyfish falls, we glide over with the jellyfish, and then we spring up, then we spring to the right, we immediately let go of the jellyfish, so it flies. However, then we grab the bird, which will go to the right, then we presumably spring up, re-grab the jellyfish, glide over, spring up, throw the jellyfish, and maybe the bird will be here. I'd imagine the bird will be here to allow us to... Oh wait, no, the jellyfish can't get over here. The bird will be here. And then we'll have to re-grab, we'll have to grab this jellyfish, probably glide over here, get our dash back so we can let go, dash re-grab, glide down, or like slowly fall down here, get our double dash, 
and then drop it so it goes over here by all those springs. Then we double dash up to the springs and then re grab the jellyfish here, get our dash back, do another mid air dash re grab of the jellyfish, get over here, and then there's something going on here. I have no idea what, how we're supposed to get past this. But we are, <laughs> presumably. And then we come over here, we dash up, we re grab the. Uh, Maybe the bird, we grab the bird who will take us off screen and then back. Re grab a jellyfish, go over here, throw it, fall down, bounce, then bounce, and then dash over. Or maybe, no, we, we take the jellyfish, we glide down here, then bounce, bounce, and then use that momentum to get over here. And then dash up, re grab jellyfish, the blow up and then use that momentum with the jellyfish to get over here, dash up right, grab it, but then let go, get our dash back, dash up right, let go, dash up right, re-grab jellyfish, fall down, bounce off the spring, go all the way to the right, and then dash to the right to break, or dash on top of this and then break it. Wow, I, oh man, this has gotta be the final room. This has gotta be the final room. It's so late, I need to go to sleep. It's so late, I need to go to sleep. But, oh my goodness, do I want to try this. Oh my goodness, do I want to try this. No, this, wow, great start. Great start, Nick. Excellently done. Well done. <laughs> Man, I, I, I want to try this so badly. Interesting. Very interesting. So that was not enough. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the the puffer fish to re grab our uh, to re get our dash back. Oh, I should have let go! I should have let go! No! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a whole ordeal. I gotta I gotta re dash. I gotta dash re grab up there. What? No! That was too high. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, look look at this already. I mean, this is... What? No! I missed! Yeah, I mean, this is gonna take another... This will definitely take some more time. There is no doubt in my mind about that. I didn't high enough up there. No, oh, come on, Madeline. Come on, Madeline. You gotta, you gotta hit it from the side there. What am I, what am I doing right now, guys? Why am I? I think I need to actually let that be lower so I'm able to get more momentum with it. Why am I even attempting this right now? There's no way! This is gonna take way too long! This is gonna take way too long. Oh man. This is gonna take way too long, but at the same time, I'm so tempted. I'm so driven right now. I want to, I want to do this, guys. I want to achieve this, I want to accomplish this, right now. Oh, what? The previous one didn't fall? The previous one didn't fall? Ah, oh, man. What? Madeline. Whew! Alright. It's late. I need to maintain my cool, my composure. 
I need to just die there. <laughs> so I can restart the level faster. Okay. Regrab. Over. That's probably too high up. Nope. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, over. Darn, that is too much. A little too much sauce on that. Okay, okay. We're making progress. Kinda. Sorta. Ish. gonna be my new obstacle. No! No! Come on! It's times where, like this where you really wonder, you know, is like two in the morning really the best time to be trying such a thing so challenging? Is that like when you're really at, you know, peak performance, peak mentality? Okay, so I definitely need to use my dash there. That was the, what I figured out there. I got the the perfect, I guess, off of the springboard re-grab with the jellyfish there, and it wasn't enough. So I definitely need to utilize my uh, my dash there to get over that little hump. But yeah, it's like, is this really the best time to be doing this? Probably not, but you know what? It's um, It's when it's happening, so... Sometimes that's all you can ask for. Oh man, the wind? Hang on, I gotta think what's going on. Oh! Come on, come on. Oh! Oh my! I need, I need, <laughs> I need to take a second. And I need to take a sip. I got a nice glass of water here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone up off the screen. We are up and we are off the screen. <sighs> when the room was long enough. When you thought the room was long enough. All right. Okay, don't let go. Don't let go. Oh, let go, let go, let go. What, <laughs> what? I need a dash. I need a dash for that segment, guys. I need a dash. No, Madeline, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna feel, my voice is gonna be rough tomorrow. There's not a doubt in my mind about that. Here I am. Why, why am I trying to do this? Why am I... Why am I trying to do this now? I could just... Wait. Okay. Why... I thought it was the one later. Because I'm pretty sure that's part of what I messed up, and that's why I didn't have my dash. When I needed it. I guess for what it's worth, we've made considerable progress in the bit of time we have spent on the level. Oh, you can fast fall while still on the jellyfish. That's actually probably really helpful. And it might have been really useful <laughs> on that segment of the, uh, the vertical room. No, why did I turn around? No, Nick! You got it the first time! You got it your first time doing that!
notice I've stopped stopped yelling at Madeline and instead now I'm talking to myself. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I could have salvaged that if I really wanted to. I could have gone underneath it and dashed upwards, but did not think to do so in the moment. Okay. What? No! No! Ah, oh, man! Let's see if it's even like remotely possible. No, <laughs> definitely not. Wait, why did I? Why did I do that? That's not what I've been doing this entire time, guys. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't be doing this level right now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But at the same time, I, I feel it. I feel the need to. I feel the desire. I feel the challenge. I feel the struggle. We're gonna save this. my momentum way too much there. See, the thing is, like, at this point, we're already making so much progress. I feel like I have to continue. Sunken cost fallacy! Oh, I waited too long there. Okay. Here we go. No! Why did I... I don't need to optimize my momentum there. I don't need to. I just need to fall on that. I could have no momentum and I'd be alright. Why did I do that? It's the perfectionist in me. And if only I knew this much of the episode was left. If only I knew. I'm not to spend so much time looking at that one area with those dash crystals I didn't use. Alright, alright. Let's focus here and remember, we can go, we can... We can do that. We can do that. Oh man, my palms are sweaty. Oh no. This reminds me of VVV VVV. Oh man, this is so intense. Pufferfish? Oh no. They want me to, ex to to avoid their radiuses. Their explosive radiuses. Oh, come on, come on. <sighs> Don't drop. Do not drop the jellyfish. What? Oh, wait a minute. That's right. throw it. What happens if I go up? If I hold up, do I move up more quickly? Let's see. This is neutral. If I hold up, it seems to. 
All right, we're gonna gain some momentum and then throw. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Okay, we're falling. We have a double dash. We have one dash. We have one dash. Bounce. Up here. No! 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 <laughs> I saw what to do. I saw I tried to dash upright. And it just came out as right. Oh, man. This level is so long. This is such a long room. This is such a long room. I was so close. So close. Oh, I need to sleep. But I also need to beat this game. Oh, we were doing so well. We were doing so well, guys. doing so well. All right. All right, let's not get hasty. Let's not get hasty. You and I both know that's been my downfall many a time throughout this game. Oof, that was that was almost one of those times. Okay. Okay. Now we've got the puffer fish of doom. At the very least, it seems like the jellyfish itself doesn't matter. It's more about Madeline's hitbox, which eases things tremendously. All right, we're gonna go up, 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 and a little bit left. Get it, nice. Land on that, jump. All right, dash right, dash left, grab. Dash right, bounce. Up right, okay, no. Pause, no, no! I tried to hit the start button. I tried to pause so I could switch to analog. I tried to switch to analog. Regardless, I actually think I messed up. I think I need to hit or slash blow up that puffer fish. Otherwise, I'm just gonna run into it with the, the feather and that's not gonna be good. I don't know what was going on there, but oh man. Unbelievable, I tried to go analog. And I ended up just mashing a whole bunch of buttons. <laughs> what is happening to me? Am I descending into chaos as Madeline is approaching clarity? Is that what this is all about? The contrast of the player's madness and Madeline's sanity? Oh man. Well, here we go, right? Ooh, that was aggressive. Part of what's so rough is that every time you die, you have so much of the level to do again. It's like, it makes sense. And this is, this is obviously, well, I, can't, I shouldn't say obviously, but this is definitely the last room. No! Don't die on the early parts. That just feels frustrating. If I die on early segments of the level that I've done so many times now that I know exactly how to do and are not that crazy difficult, but I die because of stupid stuff like that where I dash right instead of upright. Some stupid misinput. Oh. I must calm my mind if I want to beat this. Can't let the nerves, can't let the, the anxiety, can't let it get to me. Oh man. That was too early. I don't even need to do that, right? If I time that well enough, I don't even need to dash up there. That's what I was doing in the beginning. Let's just do that. I like that. Okay. All right, all right. Digging it. Nope, don't go up there. Don't go up that high. <laughs> okay. All right, Madeline, don't let go. We're all right. 
we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. We're okay. We're living. Pufferfish of Doom. Very carefully, very calmly, make our way through these pufferfish. Okay. Nice. Now the key. The key to victory. Get it. Nice. Jump down. Okay. Dash right. Dash left. Grab. Alright. We're going to pause for a moment. I'm going to explain. Whew. Going to get a little sip. <laughs> I'm going to explain. So I dash to the right and I bounce off of this, right? However, if I immediately dash for that feather, what's going to happen is I'm going to try to go down. But the puffer fish is going to be the way and it's going to blow me up and it's going to be not so happy. So what I need to do is bounce off of the puffer fish and then after I fall, dash to the left, blow up from the puffer fish and a after that explosion, get the feather and then proceed downward into unknown territory. Oh man. Oh man, guys, my, <laughs> my controller is so sweaty. Whew. All right, let's do this. What? What was that? No! No! <laughs> I dashed off the top of it. What? How did that happen? I thought I aimed that perfectly. Oh, it's so disappointing to get so far and mess up on something so stupid. I literally sat there and told you guys the strategy. I told you guys how to get over it. Oh man. This is testing the limits of my sanity. Alright. <sighs> Calm. Calm Mind. One of my favorite moves in Pokemon. I rushed. Why did I rush? Why did I rush? Wanna know why? Because I didn't calm my mind. What am I doing? Ah, this is so crazy. <laughs> you know what I should do is, I should really refresh on what the second half of the level looks like, so that before I get there I have some semblance of what I'm gonna be getting myself into after I uh, finish the descent segment. No, 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 why did I do that? <sighs> Alright, we're gonna refresh on the right side of the level. Unbelievable. Why did I decide to do this <laughs> for 25 minutes later? Why did I decide to do this? Okay, um, so after we get the feather, I think we're gonna come out right here, actually. And then um, we'll dash upright to get this. Uh, jellyfish, after doing that, what do we do? With the jellyfish, I think we actually bounce around here, fade to the right, and then upright again. And then we fade into this, blow up that way, up, dash upright to get the jellyfish. Be careful not to die, I guess. <laughs> fall down, dash, fall down, dash, fall down, dash upright, bounce. Yeah, we're, we're so close. We are so close, guys. We are so close. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. This is it. This is this is this is the run. It's totally not. But you know what? I'm gonna tell myself it is. <laughs> what? Did I like hit the platform early? How did that happen? No, Madeline. Side. Side of the puffer fish. Okay. Man, I'm gonna be exhausted when I finally finish this. No, now I'm messing up on the beginning. 
not the beginning. That's frustrating. <laughs> That's stupid. That's silly. Not the beginning. No. <laughs> the game is like, you've died so many times. You've died so many times. Do you need something to cheer you up? Are you all right, Madeline? We're so close, but it feels impossible. Come on, just a few more tries. We can do this. Madeline, I need to sleep. <laughs> I cannot even believe that I died so many times that the game is sending me a message of encouragement like that. Shout out to Celeste, the only type of game to do that. Super Meat Boy would be like, You screwing up? You think you're good at games? Nah, this is exactly why you suck. Why, why are you even trying anymore? Give up, go home, play something easier. <laughs> like, nah, Super Meat Boy's not that toxic. But you, you know what I mean, right? Like, Celeste is, is encouraging and being like, We can do this. Believe in yourself. I can't even believe that that just happened. That's actually kind of great. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's do this. Alright. It's jellyfishing time. Patience, right? Patience. Okay, now we got the stars of doom. Pufferfish of doom and the stars of doom. All the doom! Admittedly, these pufferfish aren't too crazy. Alright, now the key to success. Get it? Nice. Here we go. It's time. It's time. Dash right. Dash left. Grab. Pause. Dash jump. And kaboom. Feather. Switch to analog mode. Let's go, baby. I see a block. I see a block in our path. Are we going to have to grab onto it, or are we going to have to avoid it? I think we might have to grab onto it. Luckily, I now know that I can grab out of a feather. Okay. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I must have, before I paused, already had an up-directional input going. Oh, man, that's so disappointing. That's so <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> I'm sure at least some of you guys got a good laugh out of that. I'm, I'm sure it was enjoyable for at least one of us. And it wasn't me. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts so much. Okay. Calm. Calm. Patience. I can do this. I can do this. I know I can do this. I'm very close. I can feel it. Alright, stars of doom. Stars of, of rough edges. Stars of... I don't know, I can't come up with anything interesting. Got the puffer fish of doom. Key to success. Alright, time for the key to success. Key to, to success. Get it? Nice. Alright, it's time. Dash right. Dash left. Fall. Dash jump. And kaboom. Feather switch. I've already, I've already screwed it up. I've already screwed it up. I was too late. It was too late. I need to switch to analog earlier. That's the secret. I need to switch earlier. <sighs> All 
Wow. I think that's the first time I've died that way. Okay. I'm gonna have to rescue this one. Okay, let's go. No, what? No, not straight up. I'm getting so tired. My eyes, I can start to feel the burn. <laughs> My voice, I can feel the scratchiness. I know I'm not gonna be recording much tomorrow, that's for sure. Okay. Here we go. This level is so long. It's unbelievable. When I downloaded Chapter 9, when I started Chapter 9, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Okay, the star mines. Maybe that's what these will be. Nah, the pufferfish makes sense to be mines. But they're the pufferfish of doom. We've already established that. Time for the key to su success. Doesn't seem I need to actually, like, maintain my momentum there that much in order to get that done. I thought I had to, you know, keep my momentum kind of tricky there. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's strategize here. I think as soon as I get hit by the pufferfish, or as soon as I dash into the pufferfish. Ah, oh, no, really. As soon as I dash, I should hit start. Yeah. Okay, I think we I think we did. It. I almost hit retry. I would have cried. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. No, and I wasn't efficient enough. I wasn't efficient enough with my turns. But we know how that's gonna go. I'm gonna go with the, the feather. <sighs> I need to make my way tightly around that corner. Oh no, that's not enough. Tightly around that corner so that I can dash to the right and cling onto that. And then I can breathe for a moment. I expected the feather to take us completely out of that sort of more vertical segment, but I was wrong. Oh man. I'm gonna go upstairs and my dog's gonna be waiting in my bed and be like, what the heck are you doing up this late? Why are you waking me at this unreasonable hour? That's the first time I've missed that. <laughs> that is the first time I've missed that. It, the thing is, like, I feel like I'm already beyond the point of no return. Like, there's no way I'm gonna go to sleep tonight and be like, ah, uh, you know what? I'm glad I at least gave that a go for half an hour without succeeding. <laughs> I really learned a lot to try tomorrow. And that's the first way I've died that way. Completely missed that platform. Watch somebody be in the comments be like, actually, timestamp, you died that way, you know, half an hour ago. Ah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> All of the deaths are blending together, but some of them still stick out as particularly unskilled deaths. And that was one of them. Okay. Let's go. On to the jellyfish segment. Wow, what a trial. Like really, truly, what a trial. This this chapter and this room. Okay. Pufferfish, you are no match for me.
Alright, here we go. Showtime. I tried to hook up. Ah! Oh. And I did too much. I did too much. I would have had it there if I had just uh, stayed played a little bit safer. I would have had it. Dang, my hands are gonna be sore from all this. I can already feel it in my right index finger. Whew. Okay, nice. Great way to mess that one up. <laughs> But I need to do this. I need I need to finish this. This is my moment. I can't come this close and and not. Alright, make good progress. Okay. Jellyfish part. Up we go. Ooh, I think I'm on an earlier cycle. That's pretty neat. Okay. Puffer fish of doom. Oh, they should be the puffer fish of boom. Oh man, that's that's a good one. I like that one. Okay. Here we go. Alright, this is it. This is it. This is totally it. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not ready. We are clung to this block as it's falling. <sighs> I was not ready. What am I doing? Okay, okay, I need to jump off of this and grab the jellyfish. Okay, then we bounce off of this guy. Bounce, bounce, jellyfish, and kaboom, jellyfish. Oh no! Oh, that was it! That was it! Oh, I was so close! I didn't have... I didn't judge my momentum well enough. So I didn't get the dash crystal. If I'd gotten that dash crystal, that would have been it. I'm telling you, that would have been it, guys. Oh, man. We're so close. We're so close. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I know I can do this! That was it! That was it! This is showtime! Alright. Jellyfish part. Okay. Stars. Okay. Puffer fish of boom. Yeah, that one. I like that one a bit more. Okay. Now the key to success. And now the moment. Dash right, dash left. Dash right, jump. And boom. Up. Pause. Nice. Switch to analog. Okay. We switch back to D-pad. We are ready to fall. Jump. Oh my god, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was not ready to hit that one. Jump. Jellyfish. Okay. We can bounce off of this guy over. Jellyfish. And we're gonna... Kaboom. Jellyfish. Up. Oh, no! I grabbed it too early. 
I grabbed it too early, guys, so I didn't have the momentum to get over the electricity there. And then I could have grabbed the dash crystal, and we would be so close to having it all be over. Oh. All right, all right. I gotta, I gotta calm down again. I gotta calm down again. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm forgetting all the basics from the beginning because I just want to focus on the end. Because we're so close. We're right there. Man, after this, I need to play a game like Journey. <laughs> This jellyfish. Re grab this. Okay. Interesting. I have my dash here. I shouldn't have my dash. Why did I even consider doing that differently than I normally do? I've got a system. I, I, I can I can get past this now. No! Why did that's the first time I died like that? Because I'm getting impatient. As we're like 90% of my deaths on all the rest of the game. Okay. So gotta calm down. We gotta give ourselves the opportunity to make progress first. Need to earn that opportunity. <sighs> okay. Patience. Stars. Puffer fish of boom. to success. Okay. Dash right. Dash left. Kaboom. Switch to analog. Return to D-pad. Okay. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, here we go, here we go. Grab. Alright. Momentum. Grab. Alright. Boom with a lot of momentum. Oh, I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. And... Come on. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bird and Battle are working together. It's a feather. No! It's a feather. And I was not ready. I was not ready! I thought I thought I was at the end. I thought I was at the end. I thought I'd done it. Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna go crazy. And now it's been almost two hours of recording. I thought I did it! I thought I did it! And the game was like, no, the level's even longer! Haha, <laughs> screw you! There's a feather of all things! Which I'm good at now, which I can handle now, because I have the analog! <laughs> I could have done it! I don't think that would have been too out of the realm of possibility. Oh man! Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this level! This last room! What is this last room? What is this chapter with baiting me into thinking it's over and not being over? <sighs> Man. Celeste, you are something. We're gonna take our time here.
pufferfish of boom. Keen to success. Okay. Dash right, dash left. Boom, switch to analog. Okay, grab onto this. I actually have a second to breathe here, which is nice. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, jellyfish time again. Up. Boing, grab the jellyfish. All right, here we go. Kaboom, no, no. No! And I could have salvaged that too if I did the re-grab, I'm sure. How did I mess up the kaboom? You guys are seeing me push to the limits of my sanity. I can't even imagine the number of people that like went through so much of Chapter 9 and got to this room and were like, no, I just... I can't. I'm sure there's a number of them. I'm sure there are quite a few people that made it this far and were like, I can't do it. I can't do it. This this level, this room is so stressful. If you guys are watching, you're still watching. You're a real trooper. You're an absolute trooper, and I thank you so much. Your support through all this, oh man, it matters so much. Okay. Alright, stars. Pufferfish. Every part of this level is a threat. I must respect it accordingly. Key to success. Dash right. Dash left. Dash right. Boom. Switch to analog. Hang on for a wild ride. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, back to grabbing jellyfish. Okay. Boing. Alright, let's get the kaboom this time. Okay, no! Oh, I didn't get the dash crystal. Yeah, the, the, the frustration at this point is just that it takes so long. Literally just time-wise. I mean, like, I've done these challenge, this part of the level, you know, so many times. I know I can do it. It's just that the level is making me do it over and over and over and it's like something that's taking multiple minutes well maybe not well maybe I don't know um, to get through the level up until that point again just to test you know my skill at that one particular segment that was actually really close <laughs> and that's the frustrating part is that it takes so long to get back to the one part you know I'm concerned with Stars. That was a little close. Pufferfish. And now the key to success. Okay, dash right, dash left. Boom. Kaboom. Dash up. Switch to analog. Grab. Okay. Boing, boing, boing. Back to the jellyfish. Okay. Boing. Through the jellyfish. Okay. Here we go. Kaboom. Up. Dash. Come on. No! I... 
every single time. I shy away and let go of the jellyfish before it even disintegrates. And then I don't have enough momentum to get whatever is coming next. And that's the problem. Now I have to sit through this part of the level again. <laughs> go. Stars. Pufferfish. And I couldn't even sleep now if I tried. to success. Dash right, dash left, dash right, bounce, boom, switch to analog, cling for dear life, boing, 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 back to the jellyfish. Okay, here we go. Boing. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Boing. I've made it onto the electricity, the wire box or whatever. All right, I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready. I'm gonna be in analog mode. I'm already in analog mode, guys. It's feather time. And I'm in analog mode. I'm ready. It's gonna switch. I almost didn't dash there. I almost didn't dash there, guys. I think this is it. I think this is it. I gotta take a sip. Oh, man. I, I'm so sorry, controller. You are so gross right now. Whew. Battling. Say goodbye to her for me. Up we go. The bird. Granny. Are we finally saying goodbye? Oh my god, we did it. Oh my goodness, we did it. It's Granny! Granny! Hey there, kiddo. I love that term, kiddo. It's actually a very sentimental term to me personally. It's so great to see you. I didn't know what to do without you. But you aren't real. This is just a dream. So what? That didn't stop you from coming all this way. Yeah, how crazy to think about in the beginning of the game she's talking about climbing a mountain. Now she's climbing literally into like outer space into the heavens to meet Granny. You finally found me, and now you care that it's just a dream? <laughs> Quit making excuses and say what you need to say. I'm sorry that I didn't come to your funeral. I couldn't do it. I just shut down. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> hey, what do I care who showed up to that thing? I'm dead! <laughs> Funerals are for all you suckers stuck living without me. There's some validity to that. Thank you for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me so much, and I really miss you. And she fades away. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going? Like nothing happened? Like you aren't gone forever?
That's so sad. And so Madeline finally wakes from her dream. Aw, oh, look at the pictures. Picture of Granny, the strawberry mug. Oh, and it's Theo! So, so cute. She's got a little succulent in a journal. Her strawberry mug, her meds, and a pad of some sort. There she is. Long time no see, strawberry. Hey, Theo. It's been forever. You went off the grid. What happened to you? Yeah, sorry for not responding to your messages. Or answering your calls. Everyone, everyone relapses into periods of poor mental health. Doesn't mean people won't be there to care when you come back. Or replying to your emails. I kind of had a breakdown when Granny died. And then I felt weird messaging you. I thought maybe you were mad at me for disappearing. It snowballed from there. Yeah, yeah, I know you. <laughs> I figured the funeral might have triggered your anxiety. NBD. Next time, at least just let me know you're still alive. You feeling any better? Yeah. I'm finally starting to come to terms with it. When I first met Granny, I thought she was crazy. But then I got to know her. And I thought she was mean. <laughs> but she knew what I needed to hear, and she really helped me. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. I honestly thought she'd live forever. Oh, that reminds me, I have to show you something. Oh, <laughs> speaking of living forever. Remember how I told you my grandpa went to Celeste Mountain when he was younger? Well, I was going through some of his old stuff with Alex. And check out this photo I found. <laughs> the good old paperclip. Is that Granny with your grandpa? What? Oh my goodness. Plot twist. <laughs> Theo, that's amazing. It looks like they were friends. Just like us. It really sucks that they're gone. But it's nice to know that we shared the mountain with them. Yeah. That is nice. Wow. And of course, then there's Granny's. Laugh. Is that Celia and Carlo? Is that what it says in the corner? Oh my goodness. The feels. My heart. Oh no, it's going to make me hit the button to, to move on from the screen. Oh, but I don't want to move on. I'm not ready to move on. Isn't that, isn't that what this whole chapter was about? I'm not ready to move on. Oh, but it's going to push me to do it. It's going to force me to do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Almost 2,000 deaths on this chapter alone. Wow. All these different segments. Wow. And with that, we've, we've completed the game. All right, well, this is the time where I usually say a few words about the game. Um, I'm going to encourage those of you who have been watching until this point um, to listen. I, I'd really like to share my thoughts on the game. And I also do want to say that if, if you enjoyed watching me play through this, if you enjoyed this game, I've also completed Super Meat Boy Blind, and I feel like that may be up your alley. I've also played VVVVVV, so... Do check the, the, those series out as well. Um, that would mean a lot as well. But holy cow, there's so much to unpack with Celeste. So much to unpack with Celeste. I am deeply in love with this game. I'm ready to move on from it. I will say that. I'm ready to move on from Celeste. But I'm so deeply in love with it. This game is beautiful on so many fronts. Um, 
I like to talk about, you know, so many different aspects. The, the easiest and the most superficial are the visuals and the audio, the music. The visuals are stunning. The level designs from the sprite work to the, the CGs at the end and the chapter complete screens. The animations, how the characters look, the, the style, uh, the changes from chapter to chapter, this overworld. Like, look at how beautiful it is, yet simple. Um, which, which I guess is a great, you know, motto for the game as a whole. The, the visuals are absolutely stunning. Um, no complaints there. The variety in each level, the themes, it, it all goes together so nicely. Um, the, the music is incredible. Yeah, the, the music's incredible. There's not a song that sticks out as being bad. Sometimes the songs were even incredibly helpful just for timing your pace throughout levels, right? Especially with those B-side blocks and, and towards the end. Um, the Puyo blocks. The, the music is so calming at times, yet at the same time so exciting. It's, it's incredible how much it motivates you, yet calms you. So those were wonderful aspects. The story is so touching. It's so emotionally jam-packed, which is so atypical for platformers. Celeste is the first game I've ever, you know, a platformer I've played with such an immensely emotional story about a topic that I think is so important and so under, I guess, under-stressed. Um, although it's obviously gaining a lot more traction. Talking about mental health, anxiety, depression, fear, inability to move on, this the struggle of you know or letting go of the struggle, um, insecurity, so many of these things, and in tackling them, and dealing with your your inner self that's pushing you down, how it manifests in interacting with your friends, sometimes pushing them away though you love them, you know, demonstrating those weaknesses, and the long difficult struggle this is a tough game the difficult struggle it takes both the ups and the falling down and having to climb back up again it takes to get up celeste mountain and overcome those temporarily and to develop the tools to overcome them again for when you inevitably fall back down again is such an incredible story and the game does such a good job telling it and then with chapter nine about granny and moving on and the relapse, essentially, was, was also so touching and so impactful. Great story. Great story. The gameplay was impeccable. Um, the, the platforming is so, so good. I love platformers. I've played some of the Mega Man X games. I played the classic Mega Man games, the Mega Man Zero games. You know, some of my favorite platformers are Mega Man 2, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Mega Man Zero 2, um, Super Meat Boy, uh, VVVVVV, some games that have really tight controls, fast flowing platforming, and in this game, this game is some of the best, best platforming I think that exists in the world right now. Period. It goes beyond so many of the classics. It's got such tight controls. Um, it, it responds so well. The dashes feel so clean. And the different mechanics with each chapter are very fluid. The golden feathers grew on me as soon as I had analog. <laughs> so I can't even fault the game for the golden feathers. And so individually, each mechanic introduced in this game is so clever. And they utilize it so well. And the advanced techniques, you know, the, the wave dashes, the, the wall bounces, the jumps after dashing through those um, like starry blocks or whatever. They, they teach you so much more and you learn so much more. And you learn a lot through doing and necessity. And this is the beauty of some of the, the design of this game is they introduce mechanics in a controlled setting where you're able to figure out what something is. You're able to mess around with it and figure it out and then they slowly scale it up, and then they slowly raise the stakes, and they apply the pressure, and they really force you to master that technique. And then after you've mastered a bunch of those techniques, they start to mix them together. And then you start to break those techniques, right? You start to break those mechanics, and then the breaking, the bugging, or you know, like the bugs of those mechanics become the techniques. 
It's, it's incredible, and the game is self-aware and utilizes all of this and combines it together in really interesting puzzles, um, puzzle platforming. And the pace changes, but overall it's very fast paced, it's very clean, and each time you die you're able to start again really quickly and, and get back to it, <laughs> except for that last room. <laughs> but but it's, it's incredible. Just as much as the story talks about, you know, climbing Celeste Mountain and coming so far, I sit here now, having completed Chapter 9, thinking back about Chapter 1, and having a tough time even imagining dying in Chapter 1, just because of the immense skill I've obtained with this game's mechanics strictly through playing the game. The game taught me it all which is incredible, and it did so without any sit-down tutorials making me sit through anything. It did it in a fun, interactive way that made me feel like it was me discovering these things in order to overcome things, even though the game was holding my hand. That is, that is such an important quality in a platformer, and Celeste totally knocks it out of the park. Gameplay, visuals, audio, story, out of this world. Um, I love that they keep track of your deaths, they keep track of all these different stats. I mean, at this point, I think, what, I've I've logged roughly, yeah, like 30, almost 33 hours. Probably, I guess, when you consider time spent in random phone calls that I've edited out throughout this series. Probably close to like 31 or 2 hours of total playtime throughout all of these levels. Man, you know, ramping it up with the B-sides and the C-sides, the unlockable content with the crystal hearts and... And all of that, and in chapter eight, and the story that it unlocks. Ugh, I love the progression. The strawberries during the main game act as fun little puzzles, fun little challenges you can completely opt into, right? They're not necessary in the slightest. But if you want those extra little puzzles to solve, you want that, you know, you can do that. I still stand by not liking searching for the strawberries after you beat the game. I don't think the checkpoints throughout the levels are close enough to facilitate that process to the most convenient or efficient way it could have gone. Um, it's not awful by any means, and it could be a lot worse. Uh, but I, th I think that's really the only area of improvement I see for this game, which is crazy. I've played a lot of games and a lot of platformers, and I love platformers. And so I have a lot of thoughts about how they could improve, how they could be better. But sitting here right now, actually standing here, I, I, I play all my games uh, for the channel standing. But um, standing here now, I can only think of the strawberry hunting, you know, being more, I guess, considerate of the player's time. Otherwise, there's nothing I would do to change. I, there's nothing I would change about this game. And at the end of it, there's just so much relief. You you love this game. I love this game so much. There were so many moments where I was so frustrated. <laughs> I was so close, but I overcame them. I, I learned to use all these different skills and I had you guys cheering me on. It meant so much to know that you guys cared about this game too, that you had so much in store for me to see and to share your own thoughts about that I look forward to reading about in, in the comments section or in Discord. What an incredible game. I wish there was a credit screen I could talk through. <laughs> Is there not one? We'll come back to Earth for now. Is there not a credit screen? There is. We're gonna play the credits. There's not a more fitting time to play the credits. Because Everyone responsible, Matt Thorson, <laughs> Matt Thorson, I owe you so much. This has been one of the best gaming experiences of my, of my life. One of the best games I've ever played. I, that's a huge statement. <laughs> it's one of the best games I've ever played, which is incredible. Thank you so much to this team, the people you see on the screen now. Thank you so much for making this game a possibility for people like me and for all the people in the future that will play it too. 
not only is it an incredibly fun game to play, but it carries such an important message so many people could learn from. Wow. All right, well, um, in terms of future plans, like I mentioned, I am ready to move on from this game. I love this game, but I don't want to spend too much more time playing it right now. I know that there's so much value in going back to the other levels and applying the advanced techniques you learned, you know, outside of the context uh, they were originally taught and breaking some of those earlier levels. I think that would be really fun. I know there's a Moonberry that I want to try and get. And then a lot of people have mentioned trying to get the chapter 1A dashless strawberry is really interesting and could be really fun. So for those of you that are new to the channel, um, may not have seen an entire Let's Play of mine before, um, what I like to do is have a finale and then a, uh, a bonus episode or two afterwards, you know, highlighting some extra features or experiences. So I think that'll be the case here. There'll be one bonus episode where I attempt to get the Moonberry and production kitties. <laughs> it's funny. Um, and try to get that dashless chapter 1A strawberry and mess around with it. And I think that will be it. And I'll be able to respond to so many of your thoughts that you share on this episode, this finale. Um, but otherwise... Aww credits thanks for playing thank you for this game i'm gonna be i'm gonna be so sad there's gonna be a void in my heart <laughs> from from playing this game it's unbelievable look at that file look at that file oh and it's got the bird icon now Six thousand one hundred four deaths like 32 hours all the beasts at all the crystal hearts everything just not the golden strawberries. I've already decided I probably I will not go for every single golden strawberry. Probably not even some of like the easier ones, like the the seasides. So I'm yeah, like I said, there'll probably be one bonus bonus episode where I try to get the moonberry, where I try to get the chapter one A dashless straw golden strawberry, and where I respond to all of your comments. Um, which by the way, please, please share your experience with Celeste. What does Celeste mean to you? What did you get out of this game? What do you think about this game? Please share your thoughts. I would love, love to join the community that's formed around this game and has so many thoughts and feelings like I do about it now. Um, so please, please share those with me in the comments or in, on Discord. I would, I really look forward to reading them. And thank you guys again so much for your support. This has been a long series, and I know it can be frustrating at times to watch me be frustrated or, or struggling, but again, it means so much that you guys care about this game and about this Let's Play, and those of you that have been viewing um, really mean a lot to me. So, so thank you so much, and I guess with that, well, here's, here's our formal farewell. As I mentioned, there'll be a bonus episode, but... But thanks again for watching the Let's Play, and until the bonus episode or whatever Let's Play of mine you watch next, this is Movie Night Zero, and this mission is complete.